Now I am going to discuss about concept 6 work power energy 9th class. Is there any chance for solve all problems which are related to work and energy by using simple formula? For that question a simple answer is work energy theorem. By using this form this theorem we can solve all four problems which are related to work and energy that is work energy theorem work energy theorem. The statement of work energy theorem is work done by all the forces whether it is conservative or non conservative or external force work done by all the forces are work done by all the forces acting on that particle work done by all the forces acting on a particle is equal to is equal to it change in its kind of energy work done by all the forces acting on a particle is equal to change in its kind of energy of the particle this theorem is applicable na one not only for single particle it is applicable for systems also for entire system. So, statement work done by this force is equal to change in kinetic energy means final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. Generally final velocity is V, initial velocity is U. So, final kinetic energy is half m v square minus initial kinetic energy is half m u square. How can you derive this formula? So, proof of this theorem, proof. Suppose I am taking a block of mass small m. Initially, its velocity is u. Uh, it experiences some force. It is a on that body some force F is acting. So it is displaced through a distance and a after traveling through a distance s yes, its uh, velocity becomes v mass does not change so initial kinetic energy initial kinetic energy of this particle is half m u square final kinetic energy of this ball body Kinetic energy, final kinetic energy of this body is half m v square. Okay. So, according to work, work is the dot product of force and displacement. F is the dot product of work done is the dot product of force and displacement. So, angle between them is 0. So, theta is equal to 0. So, F s cos 0 value is 1. According to Newton second law, force is the force is equal to product of mass and acceleration if it is mass is constant. So, force means product of mass and acceleration and the displacement. Next, how can you find the acceleration? We know final velocity and initial velocity. 
so and are also displaced by using these values we can use some formula that is equations of motion third equation that is v square minus u square is equal to 2as from this acceleration is equal to v square minus u square by 2as substitute this value in this equation work done is equal to mass into acceleration means v square minus u square by 2s into s this this is gets cancelled so of m v square minus of m u square so that means kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial this is the proof of the work energy theorem how can we use this formula suppose we are consider some examples example 1 suppose a book of book is lifted from ground and placed on table the book is lifted lifted means initial its velocity is zero and it is lifted and placed on table so final uh, velocity also zero so initial kinetic energy is zero final kinetic energy is zero so work done by all the forces also zero so if you are lifted a book from ground placed on table so work done by all the forces must be equal to zero because there is no kinetic energy a next example two a block of mass 2 kg initially at rest some force acting on this after certain displacement its velocity becomes final velocity 4 meter per second find the work done you know formula work done is equal to change in kind of energy so initial kind of energy of this particle is equal to 0 because initially it is expressed final kinetic energy is equal to half m v square four square 16 so final kinetic energy 16 joules according to work energy theorem work done by all the forces is equal to change in kinetic energy that means final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy so final kinetic energy is 16 joules initially 0 so work done by all the forces is equal to 16 joules take example 3 initially suppose a block of mass moving with a certain velocity suppose mass of this body is 2 kg initial velocity is 4 meter per second after traveling through a distance certain distance its rate is comes to rest suppose it is coming to rest finally its velocity becomes zero find the work done by a resistance or frictional force so find the work done by friction or a resistance how can you find so simple formula work done by all the forces equal to change in kinetic energy 
So, here only one frictional force is there. So, work done is equal to half m v square minus half m u square. Finally, comes to rest means its a kind of energy is 0 minus half m to 16. Work well done by A resistance R friction because mi minus indicates this A resistance is opposing this motion of this particle. This is about concept 6. Okay, sir.